Hi everyone. After a recent video where I looked at some of Mark Knopfler's techniques, a viewer asked me if I'd do a little bit more in depth on the frailing technique that I talked about in that video. So here we go, let's dive in. So let's have a look at that technique. I'm going to suggest that you work with a metronome. This just happens to be my Korg metronome, which has got a tuner on there as well. Um, you can probably find a really good metronome online for free. Uh, there'll be an app somewhere. Um, you can see I've got this set at 63 beats a minute. Probably a good place to start if you're not used to this technique. That sounds really slow, but believe me, it's, it's worth starting really slow and making sure you're really comfortable. I'm, I'm playing a, an A chord. I've actually got a bar chord uh, at the top just fretted, just, just easy, and I'm going to mute that top string. So we're going to be concentrating on the A to the B strings. Okay, so here's the technique really slowly. So it's thumb, nails of the first and index fingers, and then immediately stop the strings. with the index and the middle finger then it's a pluck with the thumb then it's the index and middle again and it's a down up let me work through that all together really slowly So on each downward stroke of the nails of the index and the middle fingers, you're actually stopping those strings. I'll go super slow again. Thumb, thumb. Do that with the metronome set at 63 beats a minute. You might find that that's a little bit fast to start with, so let's just take that, let's just take that down a little bit more. So what have we got? Let's try 50 beats a minute. It's really slow, but it's well worth it. Here we go. Okay, so that's a really slow walkthrough of the technique. What you can do when you've got that nailed is you can vary your index and middle finger playing together a little bit. So every now and again, you can play your, just your index finger string. Sometimes you can play your middle finger string. Sometimes you can play both. Let me show you what I mean. See what I did there? I'm alternating. Let me do that again really slowly. So that gives you a little bit of variation and you'll find that as you speed up it gives you a little bit of nuanced change to the way that the frailing technique sounds. Let me just go through something at you know normal kind of frailing speed just on that A chord and you'll kind of discern as I'm doing that alternation between the index and the middle finger that it can provide a little bit of nice variation for you.
Okay, well, I hope that helped. I hope that you can get something out of that that you can use in your playing. And uh, happy frailing. Keep practicing, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.